Hello, and welcome to Do-It-Yourself Ideas. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do handy cases, since many of you asked for it. And I'm going to do it on my loom board, since I sadly couldn't find a way to do it on forks. You're gonna need the whole length of the loom board for this, and it just wouldn't be possible to make it on forks, since you need to duct tape so many together. I made it with blue, violet and pink elastics. Down here is the end. I rebuilt the loom board a bit, but I'm going to show you in this video how to do that. I also used a crochet hook for my Galaxy S3 Mini in black. I made 30 rows to the top, but if you've got a bigger or smaller phone, you can change that a bit accordingly. For the width, I used 11 pins. And the side is always the same thing. It's the width of the loom board. It's really simple, but a bit time consuming. So just take a couple of breaks or watch a movie while working. And now we're ready to start. I start by taking my loom board apart. Take all of it apart. For the left row, the opening should be directed towards me. And on the other side, the opening should be directed away from me. And the big one just goes to the side. Now I'm gonna start with the loom bands. I start with purple. It's gonna be the bottom of my phone case. I double the elastics and span it over two pins while crossing it over. I do this for the complete side. I do this 11 times. Now the 11th one. And now I do the exact same thing in the opposite direction. So that I have X's in the middle.
That's going to be the bottom of the phone case, by the way. In a moment, I'm going to continue with the second row. Now I have 11 X's. I continue with a second color. For me it's pink. I take the elastic and pull them over the pins along the sides. I start here at the bottom. On each pin there should be two pink elastics. When I'm finished on this side, I simply go over to the other one and continue in the other direction. Now I'm finished with it. Now I'm gonna loom for the first time. I take the purple elastic under the pink ones like this and pull them over the top to the middle. There's always going to be four elastics, since you took them twice. I always pull them over the purple and put them in the middle. Do this 11 times till you're at the top. Watch out that you get them all. Here one hit away. So this is what it looks like from the top after one row. Now I turn it all around and continue on the other side.
At the last one it looks like this. Now I pull it all a bit down. Now I continue with the next color. For me it's blue. Then you loom again, taking the pink elastics over the top to the middle. Turn it all around again and continue on the other side. Then I'm gonna take purple again. Now I push it all down again. Just pull them all on and then loom again till I reach the length I liked. It's all pretty simple, just time consuming. Just pull the elastics on the pins like this. Exactly like I did for the blue and purple. Vary the colors however you like. Or we'll even make the same row multicolored. The principle stays the same. In a moment I'm gonna show you how to finish it. After 30 rows, this is what it looks like. You can look down here where your phone's gonna go in. I just loomed the pink over the blue, and now I'm going to finish. Start at the corner with the opening towards you. Take both loom bands and pull them over the next pin. Now you'll have four on this pin. Pull your hook through the top and get the bottom two elastics and pull them over the next pin. I continue doing this for the whole line.
I turn the board and continue on the other side. The principle always stays the same. The way we rebuild the loom board really makes this easier. We're almost finished. I turn it again. Now I need a last elastic. I'm gonna pull this one through all four other elastics. Like this. Now I can take it all off. There. Pull it a bit so it gets into form. I can pull the last elastic through the sign so that you can't see it anymore. There! And it's perfect for my Galaxy S3 Mini. Just gonna show it once. I hope you liked this tutorial and that it was useful for you. If you did, maybe leave a thumbs up rating or leave a comment about what you'd like to see from us in the future. Or maybe if you have any ideas, you can also leave them to us in the comment. If you'd like to see more from us, subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye!